Today we're going to be talking about polynucleotides and the aftercare for the treatment. My name is Dr. Sanjay Tricker and I'm an aesthetic doctor at Trick One Aesthetics, Mayfair. Polynucleotides is an extremely safe treatment. This is an injectable treatment that essentially uses fragmented DNA, typically of a salmon or trout, that combines with your own DNA to promote more elastin and collagen and that stimulates better quality skin. So this type of treatment is an injectable treatment that improves fine lines and wrinkles, elasticity, hydration and can even help directly with the under eyes with things like pigmentation. So overall this treatment is really really popular. In terms of the aftercare, to begin with, like any needle injection, there's always a risk that some people might have some mild bruising, bleeding or swelling at the injection sites. Typically, this usually settles in about 24 to 48 hours for the majority of patients, but if you're unlucky, I always say for any injectable treatment, the worst case scenario is bruising and swelling can last for more like two weeks. Compared to other treatments, there aren't the same type of combination of proteins within this treatment which can trigger a more extensive inflammatory response, so actually this treatment is quite low risk when it comes to bad bruising or swelling. On the first day, we need to be wary of things like no makeup, no touching it, no rubbing it for the first six hours because whenever you've got an open injection site, you don't want to introduce potential for an infection in that area. Having said that, it's very low risk of infection, but still it's better to be safe. Then, within the first 24 hours, avoid drinking alcohol because that can give you more bruising and swelling. Avoid direct sun exposure because if you're if you've got sun exposure on an already injected area, there can be more inflammation and it can be a little bit worse for your recovery, so it's better to avoid that too. Then, in terms of the upcoming steps, usually polynucleotide treatments are a series of treatments, so generally they're going to be about two to three weeks apart, and typically people will have about three to four sessions or so, so make sure you've got the treatment journey well outlined with your doctor, because as a one-off treatment, it's not going to be anywhere near as effective as a course of treatments, so make sure that that's all planned in with your timetable, because to get the best results, you need to plan it properly. In terms of its biostimulating effect, because this treatment is more about regenerative medicine, regenerating your skin and its ability to function better, that type of change is going to be more like slow and steady. So usually people will first start to see some improvements in three to four weeks, but you know, even up to more like three months, things are just going to be getting better and better and better. With skin treatments, remember, this is about tapping into your skin cycle and therefore it's going to be a bit less dramatic or immediate than something like an anti-wrinkle injection which targets a muscle or a dermal filler which is more creating contour or lifting or adding volume to an area. With this, because it's more focused on the skin, it's going to be something you observe over a longer time period. So I wouldn't say to judge the treatment at two weeks like we could say with Botox or dermal fillers. I'd say it's better to judge it more like after a couple of treatments, more around the three month mark where really things are working optimally that's the point that you're going to get the best type of result and that's important for planning because a lot of people get this type of treatment to plan for a special occasion if that's the case then you want to make sure you've got ample time to get the best result in time for the special occasion so after the treatment when is it good to ask your practitioner if everything's okay if you feel like anything's not settling properly and it's been a couple of days if there's more redness than you expect more inflammation than you expect and things don't feel right if something feels red, if it feels hot, if it feels itchy, if all of this is going on after a couple of days, there's no harm in just checking with your practitioner to make sure everything's okay, because typically this type of treatment settles very swiftly. In terms of combining this treatment with other treatments, every clinic does these things a little bit differently. There are a couple of rules of thumb. So in terms of combining it with a dermal filler treatment, it's good to give it a couple of weeks in between treatments, because that way you can really see how each one is benefiting an area in isolation, which is quite nice. If you're talking about combining it with a Botox treatment or an anti-wrinkle treatment, one week apart actually is fine as well. I mean, typically these treatments aren't even done in the same area, so you could do it on the same day. If you're talking about something like a radiofrequency treatment, which also stimulates collagen and elastin, we should give it more like, you know, more like three to four weeks or so between these treatments, because although they're working in different ways, they're, they're, they're going to be helping similar systems and similar processes. So it's better to space them out more to make sure we get the joint benefits of both of them rather than to overload the system and maybe not get as much of a benefit of each one in isolation. So typically we would probably want to space them out about a month apart from each other. 
even after you've done a polynucleotide treatment where the main premise of this is we want to improve skin quality, hydration, elasticity, skin laxity, all of these things, even after we've completed the course, there's still long-term maintenance that we need to think about. So for long-term maintenance of this, people do it in different ways. This isn't a treatment like Botox or dermal filler that you can really overdo but there's gonna be a sweet spot where we're doing it as little as possible to try and squeeze out as much benefit as possible. So what some people do is after they complete a course, they'll go into more of a maintenance regime, which can just be a one-off treatment every three months or so, just to keep feeding the skin and optimizing the DNA and optimizing everything to make sure that it's working perfectly. In terms of, uh, of long-term treatment, another good thing to combine it with is just general skincare at home. So with your skincare, because it's exposed on the outside and it's experiencing abrasive forces every day and you've got a new skin cycle every six weeks, your skin in general requires more attention than other treatment areas. So even if you use something like a polynucleotide treatment, it's important to be on the right daily skin routine. Make sure you are covering the basics and fundamentals like cleansing your face regularly, using sun protection to make sure you protect your skin every single day, even in the winter, making sure you use a moisturizer if your skin's a little bit dry, considering things like a vitamin A or a vitamin C. If that, I mean, it depends on what your starting skin is like to begin with. So these things, you might need a bit of guidance, but tailoring and optimizing a skin regime around your skin is a good thing to do long term because polynucleotides are just part of the solution. It's not everything. Uh, whenever we're talking about aesthetic treatments, I think what people like to think is which one's the best one and which one's the one that I need. They all do slightly different things and they all work together. So with polynucleotides, the main reason we want to use it is in alkanic at least, under the eyes, around the eyes, skin quality, hydration, elasticity, improving pigmentation in these areas. And the, the benefits we've got of the skin can be compounded by having the right skincare at home. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful and informative. If you've got any further questions, please do drop them below and we'll get back to you. If you've got any suggestions or topics that you want us to cover, we'll be happy to create content on that too. Thank you very much.